Hey everyone, it's Erica with eBeauty Podcast. Hope you are well. Today's episode is going to be a part two from the previous one titled Anointed. So this is going to be some scripture to go with it from yesterday. It's crazy just how I got this scripture. I mean, I can't make this stuff up. Like, God is so amazing. Like, how he just lines everything up. Like, all the messages I've been giving you guys and getting from him, it all just comes together. And it's just, like, wow. It's so awesome. But before I get into the scripture, I do want to remind you guys to pay attention. Pay attention every day in every situation because there is going to be confirmation. God is giving you confirmation after confirmation. And it's just... During those times, like, it's just, like, so fast. Like, if you are not paying attention, then you're going to miss it. It's just an example. And this actually happened last night. So, it was about, like, eight. And I was just listening, listening to something on YouTube. And right when she was talking about how there is family, someone in your family around you who doesn't have your best interests at heart, who is someone that really shouldn't be around you, and you can feel their negative energy. You know, it was something along those lines. As soon as she was speaking those words, my God, I got a knock at my door. Let me tell you, this is someone who is a family member, like very close to me and just is not accepting the truth of I'm a grown woman You know, I have my own life going on. You're not the most positive person in my life. And we don't have to, you know, talk or be around each other all the time. Like, it just is what it is. But if I was not in tune and paying attention in that moment of what she was saying on YouTube right as this person was knocking, you know, because you could easily go from just hearing someone talking, you know, and then be distracted because someone's at your door, you know, unexpected, you know, of course, it's a random stop by like, no, 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 we don't do that. I've already told you no. And that's why God is not playing anymore with our enemies. Like they just do too much. But before I get to the scripture, um, to finish off with the confirmation thing. Yeah, just, you know, I could have just been so distracted by a random person just stopping at my house, you know, and not caught God's confirmation in the message at the same time this person was knocking y'all get what I'm saying like it's just so crazy like you have to pay attention you have to so important all right so got my bible open so I am at Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 30 through 33. And the title above it says, the people listen, but don't change. 
Then it reads, The Lord said, Ezekiel, son of man, the people with you in Babylonia talk about you when they meet by the city walls or in the doorways of their houses. They say, let's ask Ezekiel what the Lord has said today. So they all come and listen to you, but they refuse to do what you tell them. They claim to be faithful, but they are forever trying to cheat others out of their money. They treat you as though you merely they treat you as though you were merely singing love songs or playing music. They listen but don't do anything you say. Soon they will be punished just as you warned, and they will know that a prophet has been among them. So yeah, God is saying that the people that we have told over and over again to stop doing what they're doing, to stop treating us like we're beneath them, treating us so badly, you know, trying to embarrass us constantly in front of other people, just speaking negative about us. And we've been telling them, like, we're not going to stand for that. That's not okay. And basically, we're not going to be around each other. Right? So, yeah, they're listening. They hear you. They hear us. But they refuse to change. They refuse to change their mindset. They refuse to change their hearts to become the best version of themselves. Like it's pride and ego. It's selfishness. And it says, the people with you talk about you when they meet by the city walls or in the doorways of their houses. Like they can't stop talking about us. Like, they are talking about us all the time, nonstop, day and night. Like, they have nothing else better to do. Then, it says that they say to each other, let's ask Ezekiel what the Lord has said today. So basically, they just sit around, talk about us, mock us, and don't take us serious. Don't take God serious. So they all come and listen to you, but they refuse to do what you tell them. They claim to be faithful, but they are forever trying to cheat others out of their money. They claim to be honest and loving, caring, good-hearted people who are always there for other people. Always there for others. Always trying to do what's right. Oh, they love to put on a show. They love to wear those masks. Oh, but those masks are coming down. God said, those masks are coming off. And the enemy will expose themselves. It's just so just fake and just inhumane just how people really act. Like, just, I had a pause for a second, and I was just thinking, like, wow. So I read this, so I got this scripture today, um, shortly after I woke up. I sat down to read, and I was just thinking, like, okay, God, what are we reading today? And I just kind of, like, you know, how you can do with your hands, just kind of, like, move the pages 
and let it stop. And glory be to God, it stopped right here. And I looked at the title, The People Listen But Don't Change, and I knew that was confirmation already. Now I started reading it. I'm like, my God, glory be to God. But yeah, I just had to pause there for a second, just thinking like, wow, not only does this fit so well with what God has already given me to share with you guys, but it, just the people that I have been around and how I've been treated like this is just, whew, it's definitely a word. Let me tell you, but let's see. Yes. So they claim to be all these things, but they're forever trying to cheat others out of their money. And a lot of other things, you know? They treat you as though you were merely singing love songs or playing music. Like they just treat you like you're just speaking just because like, like you're just like, that's your job. Like, it's just like you want to just continue to repeat yourself over and over and over. Like you are singing love songs or playing music. Like, yeah, like you're on tour or something, you know, it's just so ridiculous. They listen, but don't do anything you say. Soon they will be punished. This is verse 33. Soon they will be punished, just as you warned, and they will know that a prophet has been among them. So, like I've said before, God has had enough. They are not going to get away with anything that they have been doing or continue to do. Like I said, God has raised the temperature of our anointing, evaporating our enemies. He is setting the record straight. And they will be punished. Just as we try to warn them, like we're not just warning these people just to, you know, like I said, like just to keep repeating ourselves and, you know, give us anxiety. You know, we're doing it not only for our peace, but we're really just trying to help them out, right? Because obviously the enemy is working behind these people and they need help. Because they don't, they don't even realize or even care about how they're acting, what they're doing, what they're saying. Like, normal behavior? Like, again, we're not perfect, but more on the normal side, okay? Um, when, you know, if you're doing something or saying something... Like they like to say in the heat of the moment, like you had an argument and, you know, you maybe got out of character a little bit, like more than normal side of behavior, you're going to feel guilty. Like you're going to feel it in your spirit. Like that was not right. I should apologize. But these people I'm talking about are enemies. They don't feel like that. They intentionally do things bad, like evil things all the time. But we've just been warning them for our own peace, you know, all of that good stuff. And then to help them to save their soul, right? Because they're just going to keep digging a bigger hole, a bigger pit for themselves. That's all they're doing. Doesn't matter what they try to do to come against us. 
No weapon formed against us shall prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Period. So all I can say about that is let's just continue to pray for our enemies because we are the bigger person. And that's what we're supposed to do. And that's really the way to go, to be, because you forgive others. Um, you forgive yourself and you pray for others. Pray for your enemy. They are definitely going to need it. You know, we don't wish bad upon anyone. It's just, we're going to keep it real. We keep it real here at E-Beauty. I will never give you guys false information. What I share is true and honest. It's authentic from the heart. It's what I've been through and what I know. Things God has revealed to me. Visions, dreams, whatever, you know, we all have our own gifts, talents, um, ways of, um, you know, God showing us things, giving us confirmations. We're all different for a reason. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this part two of the anointed episode and I pray that this has blessed you guys I pray all my messages bless you guys and thank you so much for listening I always want to say that but I forget but I truly am thankful and yeah pay attention to those confirmations and just know that Our enemies will soon find out that God was not playing and is not playing. And continue to just help others. But one thing I've learned is that you can't continue to help someone that doesn't want to help themselves. You just can't. You are going to waste your time, your energy, your life. Like, trust me, I know you cannot help someone. You cannot help anyone. You cannot help people who don't want to help themselves. Obviously, and continue to give the best advice you can to always help someone, obviously try, but it's not up to us. It is not up to us to change someone, to really push them to want to change. That's on them. They have to heal themselves and work on themselves and their heart posture. That's between them and God. So, yeah, continue to let go and let God. And, yeah, just continue to do your best. All right. Talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye.